So in this video, I'm going to show you guys what it's like to work in a Japanese office. This is Emi, a 24-year-old Japanese woman working in Tokyo, and she's just waking up. This is her morning routine. She doesn't take a shower to get ready for work, as some may assume. Like many Japanese, she prefers taking a bath in the evening before she goes to bed instead. Emmy, how long does it take to put on your makeup? Nice spread, but who made breakfast for you? Well, Emmy completely bailed on breakfast. It's okay though, she's trying to be on time. In fact, many Japanese just grab a small breakfast like an onigiri from the convenience store on their way to work. So if you didn't notice already, Emmy still lives with her family, which is a fairly common thing in Japan, even after graduating from university. Emmy commutes to work by train, but the closest train station from her house is about a 10 minute walk. The average commute time in Tokyo is about 45 minutes to an hour. An hour train ride in the morning sounds a bit long, but Emmy is quite lucky as she doesn't need to transfer trains in the morning like others. So this is the train right now, it's arriving. It's such a long, long ride. <laughs> <laughs> so Emmy's office is located in the Otomachi area, which is considered Tokyo's premier business district. She works for a company called Persona, one of the largest staffing service companies in Japan. There's about 4,000 staff in her office alone, and about 9,000 in total worldwide. Is this building only Persona people? Yeah, Persona You don't have a monitor? I was. <laughs> and that's Emmy's boss. Super friendly. <laughs> and this is Emmy's office. As you can see, very open and colorful compared to most Japanese offices. Since Emmy works in the PR department, her first task of the day is to read all the newspapers so she's up to speed with what's going on in Japan and the rest of the world. And today's Monday, so she has to catch up on all the news over the weekend, so she's in a bit of a rush. Check out this view outside, it's pretty okay dope. Is everyone here doing the same job? How are people seated in the office? So check this out. This happens often in Japanese offices. This lady is passing out souvenir sweets from her vacation. It's called omiyage in Japanese. It's customary in Japan to bring something back from your vacation for people in the office. It's kind of a way to show gratitude to others for letting you take a break from work and for them covering you while you're away. Oh, and there's another person doing it. In my 15 plus years in Japan, I've never seen anyone forget to do this. So one thing I'm really noticing is just how quiet this office is. There's not a lot of loud voices, which I guess when working in a workspace it's like this where it's all open it's very very helpful literally it's like actually fairly respectable not a lot of people are like talking or gabbing but you can actually get work done here because like no one's too loud people actually don't wear headphones and I, in my previous office I used to wear headphones but that was just probably just me but I actually noticed something interesting I don't know if it's something worldwide there was a desk with a little humidifier on it is that something that's just Japan or does the rest of the world where like people have humidifiers on their desk because the air is too dry 
So what I'm showing you right now is the company's morning assembly meeting. In Japanese, it's called chore, and it takes place every morning. I'm kind of surprised that Emmy's company still does this, being as progressive as they are, as you see this more commonly practiced in old traditional Japanese companies. Basically, during the meeting, they share important company news from different departments. I suppose it's equivalent to today's company email newsletter blast. Then, after the company-wide meeting finishes, each department gets together and they do the same thing. Okay, since Emmy is busy with her work, let's play Curious George and explore the office a bit. So let's just go down here and see what they have. So you can see this is the pantry area. Oh, you. Ah. So she fills all the water heating pots up in the morning. It's then later used to make tea, which is served during client meetings throughout the day. So this is quite interesting because this is one of the executive offices here and you can see that there's no wall here. It's an open space, so just like this entire office. It's just... So I just found out the CEO has a whole stack of blank birthday cards to give out to people. And what he uses it for is like he knows a lot of people apparently and when he remembers a birthday he just grabs a card he likes here and then writes out the birthday card and sends it. But I'm really liking his style. It's pretty dope. Emmy, where are you going? It's crazy. She's actually going to work out in the middle of the day at 10 o'clock right now. It's quite progressive in my opinion that a company allows employees to work out during the day, let alone having a full gym built inside of the office. You do need to pay a monthly fee though, and if you want, they have personal trainers to customize your workout. It's pretty neat that they can like work out in the middle of the day, but she's actually still wearing her suit. If you do want to come here and like get a full workout on, then you can do that as well. Check that out. Oop, slippers on top of my shoes. Pretty cool, so you can like come here, wear your regular shoes with the slippers on. <laughs> So Emmy, you have an hour until lunch break. What are you working on now? How do you like your job? So now, she's making phone calls and doing your standard computer work. Checking emails, drafting documents, filling out reports, etc. You know the deal if you've ever worked in an office. So another interesting thing is the CEO actually just sits right here in the center of the office. His chair is just right here. I think it's pretty impressive that he just sits right around everyone and anyone can just like talk to him when he's here. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer having like blocked off cubicles or do you like this open office style? One thing though, he does have the nicest seat in the office. That's one difference. So I'm in the seminar room right now. Emmy's downstairs doing her work. So let's explore the office. Uh, I, I heard there might be a kombini on the third floor. So let's go check it out. Wow, it's a proper kombini. It has like everything you would want. And it has drinks, it has like bakery stuff, even has some bentos, all the onigiris you would want. It's kind of cool just like walking around this place. Here's a quick peek into the little boys room. Not much different than the rest of the world. Oh wait, maybe except the sound button built into the bidet. It's helped mask noises when using the toilet. Never really heard anyone use it in the men's office toilet, but apparently it's almost always used in the women's toilet. I guess women are more embarrassed to let others hear their, uh, noises? Oh, I heard about this. This is a global salon. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh wow, it's nice to see the employees working on their English skills. And so apparently they even have this open space here for everyone to use, which is nice. Look, man, Emmy has a sweet office. They shouldn't have let me just walk around by myself this whole entire time. Finally, lunchtime. She's asking coworkers if they want to go to lunch together. You probably don't notice, but she's using tego, which is a polite form of Japanese. So I'm guessing that Emmy's talking to her coworkers that are more senior than her, called senpai, which makes her the kohai, and it's probably one of the more difficult things to master for a non-Japanese working in a Japanese office. Oh, in Japan, it's not only polite to hold the open elevator button for everyone to get out, but sometimes people will go back and forth on who'll hold the elevator open, as it's another way to earn those office respect points. So the first 
Explorer has this bakery and we have salads over there. And if you're an employee here, you get a discount. And so I guess we get to just choose all the like bread that we want. So I found out that all the food sold at this bakery is made in the building by the company's subsidiary called, called Persona Heartful. They employ workers and artists with disabilities and their philosophy is talent knows no handicap, which I think is pretty cool. They even create a lot of the art seen throughout the office, including the Olympic designs we saw at the elevator earlier today. And what's wonderful is that the first floor cafeteria area is open to the public. So if any of you decide to visit the office, I definitely recommend getting the shio butter pan. It's amazing. Something else you may not know if you've never seen it before. The wet towels provided with your food is to wipe your hands before you eat. Just wanted to mention it since many countries don't offer wet towels. Another thing that might surprise you is that everyone's eating their salad with chopsticks. And when you finish, you've got to clean up your garbage and put away your trays or plates if they have any. This is also common in Japanese fast food joints like McDonald's or soba shops. Anyway, I've gotten used to all these since I've been in Japan for so long. But what do you think about the wet towels, salad chopsticks, or even cleaning up after yourself? <laughs> they have a farm up here we're gonna check out. So we have a few more minutes before Emmy has to go back to the office. But Emmy asked me if I wanted to check out the farm. Yeah, you heard me. A real deal farm in the office. I was pretty surprised myself. Apparently, it's open to the public, so if you want to take your kids and pet the animals, it's all good. I personally prefer to see animals in their natural habitat, but to each their own. You can actually come up here during your break time and feed animals. I mean, she's like pretty lucky to be here um, working for this company because you don't get a lot of uh, Japanese companies like this progressive or like that offer like so many services. But I do have allergies, so I gotta keep my mask on. Oh, and they even have fierce looking owls. Oh, and just in case you're wondering about the animal's well-being, I'm told the facility provides 24-hour ventilation, the animals are returned to an outside farm every few months, and the owls are allowed to fly around the entire floor in the evenings. That was actually pretty cool. So in the afternoon, she has several meetings packed into her schedule. She has a health check? Oh, so there's a difference between Genko and Kenko. Genko check, not health check. So basically, her senpai reviews a document she made and provides feedback to finalize it. Awaji Island is an island in the southwestern part of Japan. Emmy's currently working on a project there, so she has regular video conferences with that office. 5.52 right now, it's not even 6 and people are already starting to head out. I mean, if you look around, there's still people that are working, obviously, but I think we're heading out now. I guess she's done. In old school Japanese companies, it would have been death to leave the office before your superiors. In fact, I have several friends working in those type of offices and they're always working late. Seems like Emmy's office is way more flexible and lets you leave when you finish your work for the day. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Apparently, the restaurant in the basement floor is free for employees. That's amazing, isn't it? And you guys know, I love free. I don't think the beer is free though. So all four women work at the same company, but two of them work in sales on a completely different floor. <laughs> They all met a few years back, during company training. See, when new grads enter a company for the first time, they're required to go through formal company training called Kenshu in Japanese. It's different with each company, but in their case, they actually had an induction ceremony, spent one week off-site together, and had an additional two and a half months of training at the office. This is like how it's supposed to be, right? A regular work day in Japan. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you thought there's anything that like stood out to you or that you thought was weird or that you thought was just like pretty much standard in the rest of the world. Let me know in the comments. If you guys want to see what I'm doing on the daily, then definitely check out my Instagram account. And if you want to help support the channel, check out my Tokyo merch. The link is always in the description. And now I can finally have a beer with them.